one of the most effective ways to generate more profit for your Shopify store is via conversion rate optimization. And effectively, it's just making optimizations to your site in order to turn more clicks into customers. So in this video, I'm going to showcase how you can do that exactly on your own e-com store. I'm Oliver Kenyon, and for the last 12 years, I've been CEO and co-founder of ConversionWise, one of the largest CRO agencies on this planet. This is episode number 79 of Optimization by Oliver, and let's jump straight into the optimizations. So this time around, I picked the brand Hydro Flask, an incredible online e-com brand selling these amazing flasks, and I've picked three of their crucial high traffic and high volume pages and shown you what I would do if I was in charge of optimizing for more profit per visitor. We're going to start with the all important product page and one major flaw and one really horrible practice that these guys are doing is they're using these massive bold titles and massive images. But look exactly what it's doing in that before design. It's pushing everything down the fold. None of the vital information is above the fold and therefore users can't make a decision in if they want to purchase without scrolling further to get to that vital information. So the main transformation here is just optimizing that above the fold for a better layout and a better user experience. We start with number one. We've reduced that image for a one-to-one -one ratio. We've also got rid of that horrible big title it's not important, it's irrelevant. People know what product this is from the image and you can have a small title below. So we've just saved so much real estate and it just pulls everything else that's really important above the fold. Number two is we've just enhanced that social proof and laid it out in a better way. Instead of just saying that you've got 104.8 out of five star reviews, go one step further and make it emotive, attach people's feelings, tell them that you, this is reviewed by happy customers, verified buyers obsessed users, whatever that may be that you're selling. Number three is we've used these really nice color swatches. Now this is a key when it comes to conversion rate optimization. One is making sure that your color swatches are within the same view of the above the fold image, because what you'll find is if they're further down the fold like they currently are on Hydro Flask, is that people will be clicking the colors and they won't see the product at the top of the fold switch to the color. Therefore, it's a very confusing user journey. People will be clicking it and nothing will be changing. Here, because they're within the same view, way above the fold on mobile, they'll be clicking, clicking the color and they can see the picture change. The other tip here is to actually use a full image of the product color itself, not just a color swatch. Again, this gives a better user experience because people can actually clearly see what color actually changes on the product itself. It may just be a subtle color change. So by having this massive color swatch and they're clicking it, they can't really see what changes. Now you have a nice comparison between the colors and it's a better user experience again. As you can see, all of these changes has just given us way more space above the fold and we can now get the product selection options and the add the cart all within the fold, giving people more ease to then add this to their cart. Moving on to page number two, the mega menu. Guys, do not underestimate the absolute increase in profit per visitor you can make on your mega menus and your search functionality. These are very under optimized generally pages on your stores, but they are massive if you get them right. So follow this really clearly. Firstly, what you can do is you can add a best selling carousel to the top of your mega menu. Now typically think about it. Users will click this menu if they're not actually sure what they're doing on your site. They may want to see what options are on your site, what pages they can get to on your store. So they click this button. So by showing them best sellers, you're actually putting what they want to see in front of them and they're more likely to click them, therefore removing any friction and therefore they're likely to click through and purchase one of your best sellers. A second optimization here is actually A, reordering the category within your menu based on revenue per session and adding clear visuals next to them. I challenge all of you to test this. Adding clear visuals next to your menu item again gives a better usability experience because people connect with visuals over text and they can clearly see what these menu options are at a much quicker rate than just the text links. And number three, moving all of your non-important, I call them non-money page links to the bottom of that menu. 
anything that's not generating revenue, push to the bottom, put in a nice line and forget about it. And before we get onto that last page, I just want to ask you to please smash that subscribe button if you're enjoying this video and comments go a long way. So hit the comment box up below. Just let me know that you're enjoying this. Thank you. Right, let's get onto the home page and not aesthetically big changes here, but layout will mean a huge difference in my opinion to people actually going through to the next step. And that's all your above the fold on the home page really is. It's a chance to get across your value proposition, pre-sell your audience and get them to that next step, whether that's a collection page and typically a best sellers page. So again, we start with number one, just reducing that space. Why oh why they think they need this huge block uh, for their notice prompt that pushes everything else down the fold, get rid of it, shorten it up and it gives you a lot more real estate. Number two, you need social proof on your homepage. Adding five stars, the amount of happy customers you've served is gonna go a long way. Number three, compare their headline to our headline and tell me the difference. Comment below. Did you get it? Well, if you did, ours talks more about the outcome and the benefit to the customer. Theirs just talks about a fancy name for their product. People don't care about your fancy name for products. They care about how the product benefits them. People are selfish. People are parting ways with their money. So you need to tell them the outcome. Number four, we've got a far more clickable button. Before, it's a tiny little button that looked more like a label, small fonts. Now we have this full, full width button. It's emotive, it stands out. It's got a nice call to action and a nice directional cue. And lastly, due to that space saving exercise, we've been able to get some more content above the fold and just encourage people to scroll. Speaking of scrolling, that's what I need you to do right now. Head on down to that comment section Click the link if you want conversion wise, my CRO agency to optimize your e-com store and generate you more profit per visitor. And I'll see you in the very, very next video. Cheers.